all right guys now we're gonna do uh, this problem which he says that if cylinder A is given an initial downward velocity of 1 meter per second determine the speed of each cylinder when uh, the time is 4 seconds neglect the me mass of the pulleys well we're gonna say that cylinder A is given an initial velocity V of 1 meter per second now I want you to think of the relationship of the velocities between the pulleys if a goes down at 1 meter per second that means V is gonna go up at 1 meter per second that's an important relationship to note now by the principle of uh, linear momentum linear sorry linear impulse and momentum impulse and momentum we know that the initial mv initial plus the sum of the integral of the forces over time is equal to the final so we're gonna apply this basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this equation to the first pulley then to the second pulley and we're gonna get two equations and then we're gonna use those two equations to solve for the uh, velocity now you're gonna see how we're gonna do that first of all we're gonna work with I'm sorry not the pulley the block the um, cylinder so for cylinder A we're given an initial velocity of one meter per second so the mass is eight kilograms times one meter per second plus now what are the forces acting on cylinder A we got the weight and then we got the tension force which as you can see we got twice so we got 2t for the two tensions times 4 we got to multiply by the time initial time is 0 final time is 4 so that shouldn't be too hard to figure out minus and we got the weight which is w times 4 and all that equals to the final momentum which is uh, the mass which is uh, 8 on the negative direction let's try to this is positive y so times v which is uh, the velocity we are trying to uh, find out now all of this we're gonna plug in some numbers and uh, do some math and simplify and you're gonna get that 80 that came from here minus 321.9 equals negative a v uh, we're gonna call this equation 1 Now we're going to do the same thing for cylinder 2. Cylinder V, sorry about that. And we're going to get this equation which says that 10, which is the mass, times the initial velocity. See, we get an initial velocity right here. Plus 2t times 4 because again over here we got the weight and we got the two tensions acting on it minus w times 4 is equal to 10 V sorry I forgot to tell you something here the initial is is uh, downward so it's negative so this is a minus in order for you to get the right value right here sorry about that now back here 
the initial velocity for cylinder V is positive because if you pull this one down V is going to go up and the final velocity is also going to be going up so it's positive as well now if you simplify this you're going to get AT that came from here and from the rest of the equation you get negative 382.4 equals then V and I'm going to call this equation 2 if you do equation 1 minus equation 2 you're going to get that the ATs are going to cancel out as you can see because very conveniently they're both ATs so you don't got to do anything to them and you're going to get that 60.5 is equal to 18V which basic al algebra tells us that V is equal to 3.36 now this one's going in the negative direction so for cylinder A it will be negative 3.36 and for cylinder V it will be positive 3.36 because it's going up backwards and that is in meters per second meters per second and this is the final answer